Okay. So now that we have created a basic get route, it's time that we also look at how we can create a post route and get information from that post route. So let's just say we want to create a URL which handles the create of a quiz. So we have a function inside the controller which is create post, uh, sorry, create quiz, which is a post URL. And in here, I am going to send post data, which is something like this, you know, and I want the result. So this is postman. I was trying this out and hence the postman request is there. But basically what we are doing is creating a post route. I'm sending title description and let's just try to get back the request object which we are sending on that particular route. So how do we do that? Inside a post request, whenever we want to access the parameters or the request body, we create or rather we use the add the red body decorator. Okay, like this. Something like this. Okay, and for now, we will just return the quiz. Sorry. So yeah, we are returning the quiz data and now let's see if we are able to get that. So I send the request and I'm getting this just so that you know that I am not faking anything. Data, sorry. Okay, I do get a con little confused with PHP and JavaScript. So bear with me, it should be something like this. Okay, yeah. Previously, what I was doing was a little bit of PHP um, you know, it comes by default. Can't help it. Okay, so yes. So what are we doing here? We are saying that this is a post request. By default, it will be like this. Okay, both are same. So this is the URL or I can also do create. And so I can then add this. Both will work in the same way. Okay, so we can see that this is a post route, right? So yeah, so this says that it's a post request of, or a post route. This is the controller which is going to handle it. We are getting all the body parameters which are coming in the post request and that is available as a variable as quiz data and we are returning that quiz data. And one more important thing is, you can see the status code says 201. So by default, any post request coming to NestJS is sent as 201. But till now, we haven't done anything which suggests it's a 201 because 201 typically means created, as you can see. Okay. So although we will be qu uh, creating a quiz out of that, but till that time, why don't we do, I think it was status, uh, status or was it HTTP code? It should be code 200, maybe. Let me see. Yeah, so we get a 200 status code because now we have modified the, using this parameter, okay? So, so far so good. Now, the thing comes that how do we do the validations? What if I just get rid of this? Oh yeah, I can't comment it out. So let me just send this. So now you can see the description is missing. But what happens if we are actually expecting the description or the title, right? Because they are important. So how do we do the validations? So first of all, come over here and do undo. And then in here. So what typically NestJS recommends as you know, a way of doing things is you create a DTO class. That DTO basically describes the shape of your request, what you are expecting. And also that DTO will allow you to run validations on that request object. How do we do that? Uh, first of all, go to NestJS. Again, I'll just give you a you know, reference point so that you can use it for further reading. But the validations are, uh, where is it? In here. So we use DTOs 
to create a class and the class validator is used to do all kinds of validations on that DTO. Okay. And that is something which we are going to use using the validation pipe decorator. So inside the quiz module, we will have a folder called DTO. Okay. And then inside that we'll have, let's just say create quiz DTO.ts. What are we expecting? We are expecting title and we are expecting description. Now, I don't think we get class validation or the class validator by default. Let me see. Right, is not empty, is not available because I need to install it. So I'll do yarn add class validator okay this is installed okay it does have at the rate types validator as well so no nah, that let's just see if it complains then we will look at it so is not empty okay this is one message and let's just say we want to add a custom message as well quiz should have a title something like that this can be simply like this um this is what length minimum length should be let's just say at least three and here also let's just do length three 255 okay like so and then we have this dto so inside the quiz controller right why don't we use the dto so how do we do that inside this post request we will come in and first of all we will say this is create quiz or actually i can keep it like this i'll just say that this is of type create quiz dto okay so what is going to happen is TypeScript will automatically know that there are certain properties available in this object, which is like the title and the description. Why? Because we have defined it in the DTO. Okay. And with this, obviously we haven't done anything major. So if I remove the title now, and if I hit the send button, it will still pass and it will just give me the description. So we haven't achieved anything yet. The validation is still pending. So to validate the request, we will use pipes. We will pass the DTO through the pipe and the validation will happen. So pipes are something which are you know, executed on the requests. And the pipe which I am trying to use is validation. Okay, it's capital V validate. And the validation pipe it should be somewhere here, this one. Okay, so now we are using pipes and the name of the valid, uh, pipe is validation pipe. And hence, now if I send this, obviously, okay, my app is still starting. Class transformer package is missing. Please make sure you do npm install. So class transformer. Okay, that's done. Everything is loading properly. And if I now hit the send button again, this is fine. But what happens if I get rid of this? All right, it just gives a 400 status code and says that the title must be longer or equal to three characters. The quiz should have a title. So as you can see, we are getting the error messages because the validation has failed. Obviously, things like the description will also give you an error saying that the description must be longer than three characters because we have added that validation into the DTO as well. So, yeah, this is how we do all kinds of validations. And what if we send an empty object? Right, we have all the four messages. 
So yes, the validation is ready and with this, we should be able to process further and start looking at creating our quiz in the database.